All right. So this is some of the, um, we're not even really very far back in our land. Uh, this is about nine acres that we have on this side of the road. And um, it goes pretty far back. And if you see these nice thorn bushes, they're really fun to mow. You get, they get you and you get them. <laughs> um, and so that's a really wonderful thing. Uh, but the whole property, um, here's a fence line over here. And this is part of the one acre where our house is. And um, all of this was overgrown with these uh, raspberry and rose bushes. The rose bushes, uh, ironically, were put in by DNR and they're not native, they're Japanese rose bushes and they try to take over everything, which is fantastic. And apparently my rooster that does not like me since I've become pregnant wants to be part of the show. Uh, when you start out homesteading, you start off with a lot of ideals, I'm going to do it this way, and then you get down to the brass nuts of it and you go, oh, we need to change that. Um, so after letting our chickens free range all the time and not getting any eggs and having to literally go on egg hunts, uh, we keep our chickens in most of the day and then let them out for several hours in the evening. And um, that gets them focused on eating bugs and things, not running out into the road um, and things like that, uh, staying out of my garden. So uh, I don't love, uh, I wanted to make at one point separate runs for them so we could rotate and they wouldn't always be on just dirt. But hopefully we'll get there at some point. And so uh, this is kind of what I was talking about. You know, sometimes mother nature decides a tree is gonna fall or two or three and you get, <laughs> you kind of go, hmm, well, we gotta get that out and you gotta mow it. And then you go, well, do I keep mowing it or not? And you can see this is a big one. Uh, the whole root system is exposed. So, I mean, pretty big tree to just fall down and we've actually had a couple of those. Um, there was another tree over here, this one, that had uh, some sort of animal living and I can't think of the word right now. And back through here, this trail kind of stops here, but we have other trails that go off into our woods so that we can access all parts of the property with ease on the tractor. And this is our little, this is where I spend a lot of time sitting. Uh, it's very nice to be reflective at the pond. It doesn't look very pretty right now because of mowing and everything. There's no fish in the pond. It's just a frog pond. Um, so we hope to add fish eventually, uh, but it's not a priority uh, to do that. There are so many other things that take precedent. Um, and again, you can kind of see the balance here of mowing. I don't use a weed eater a lot for the property, um, probably only once or twice a year to maybe some people's dismay, but um, it is what it is. And you can kind of see up in the background, we have a hellacious burn pile that we've been meaning to burn for like two years and we keep adding to it. So hopefully this spring that will get done at some point. I'd love to have a uh, red tent there so that I could have uh, women's red tent meetings. Uh, I think just the location is perfect. Uh, it's pretty flat right there. The pond nearby is just serene. Um, my husband would like a bigger pond, but I guess we weren't specific enough when we were <laughs> speaking to the universe and I'm not moving again ever. so. Um, and then we get back to some more of the wild side and you can see it's a very fine line of what we've cut. Uh, we do, these are in between the roses, there's blackberries and we've done a lot 
of uh, blackberry picking and it, we tried doing it for money and it's something that just wasn't worth the effort level. Um, it's really nice because we have two different Amish communities near us. Uh, one we call the electric Amish because they have electric up to their house and they have propane appliances in their house. And um, we learn different things from them. They have a lot of businesses like a butcher business, little local bakery and stuff. And then um, there's our non-electric Amish that are very old school. They do everything how they would have done it 150 years ago without question. So um, not gonna probably go really down our trails and stuff. Um, but we do have some really nice trails down here that we enjoy. My husband and I like to go walking. So uh, luckily I didn't have to mow this area yet. It will probably be another month or so before I really have to take the mower down there. And a lot of times it's just to more keep the Japanese rose bushes at bay. So you can kind of see from here, you can just barely see the house. We're on a pretty good grade as far as the hill for our land. Um, a lot of people just don't expect it. It kind of looks flat or whatever side to side, but it's uh, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty steep when you have to walk it and you're huffing up and down here, especially if you're talking. <laughs> Um, and then across the road here is where the pigs, like you can see the top of the pig barn and way down there, you can see the top of the greenhouse and the grade on that side of the road is even longer or more steep rather would be the correct word. Um, but when I look out here, it's just absolutely perfect. The only thing that mars it sometimes are the chemtrails. But overall, it's just absolutely beautiful. The um, leaves are just starting to form on the trees. And um, in the summer, in the fall, when the wind's blowing, it sounds like the ocean to me. I really enjoy that. So. Um, so this is our amazing property that the universe, uh, you know, bestowed upon us. <laughs> uh, we were originally looking for just some land that we could farm on the weekends because we had just pretty much given up the idea that we were going to homestead and we we're like, well, let's just do something. And the property across the road is approximately seven acres this side's about 10 i think i said nine earlier it's like nine and point blah 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 so i always round up my husband gets on me about that <laughs> um yeah, i see a blue bird there um but we we saw this was for sale too on this side and we just decided why not try to get it all <laughs> And we had kind of planned if we couldn't get it, maybe another relative was going to get across the street. And I'm really grateful that we were able to get both sides. Um, the only bad thing about land ownership is once you get land, you always want more. <laughs> you get kind of greedy. Um, but I am grateful for what we have. My husband's hoping someday to finish off our hunting area uh, a bit more, but he's got a pretty nice area right now um so I'm trying to think of anything else um I guess at some point I'll do a walk on the other side I need to mow over there still but it's getting kind of hot and I have school to finish with a couple kids so uh with homesteading you kind of plan uh your day a bit around what the weather's like and things like that. So, um, 
<laughs> oh, all the frogs have jumped in, so I can't show you any frogs. The butterflies are back, which is awesome. I love seeing them while I'm mowing. And um, it's just so beautiful and serene here. So I hope you enjoyed my kind of quick tour and uh, hope to show you guys some more soon. And, and please forgive my huffing and puffing because <laughs> I know I am, but I just need to get out and walk for So this was a good excuse to do that too. All right, guys, have a great day.